This is the last hit, y'all. This is the last hit right here, man. I won't be seeing anything else from Adidas unless they drop something that I really like and I'm into. So, hey, last one for the channel. Let's get straight to it. It's a couple Jordan one red trolls and they gotta be in your collection. You just collect them, you never go step in. I can respect it, but that ain't for me. I got a lace up these plastic me threes and throw a little fit together. Get on the go L, play some bid, and hopefully I can just hit forever. I'm from the bottom of the one around with this part of our culture. You gotta be fly. Round flowing with the air forces. Put that shit on to the day that I die. Nike's over out of these What's going on YouTube? It's your boy the Retro Wiz Kid, the shoeologist. And y'all rocking with your boy in the sneaker dungeon, y'all. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Today, this is one that I really wanted, man. I tell y'all, when I when it comes to the certain Yeezys that we were seeing on the restocks, this was the probably the only one that I ever really wanted. But I ended up getting other ones, and I'll keep it a butt with you. I don't even wear those like that. But you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. This is the one that I really, really wanted when I first saw all of the foam runners. Yes, it is a foam runner. Um, so I might as well just go ahead and say that. And this is the colorway that I wanted the most. Now, I've already taken a look at them and everything because I had to. Y'all know the vibes. But if you guys are new to the channel, this y'all first time rocking out with your boy, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, head over to Instagram, follow your boy at the Retro Wiz Kid, posting them pictures for y'all. I appreciate all the love and support that I continue to get from each and every one of y'all. And uh, let's go ahead and talk about these foam runners, man. So right here, get in the regular brown box. Nothing crazy when it comes to the foam runners. We've seen this like this in all of them. And, you know, which one do you guys think this is? You know, which one do you guys think this is? I'll give you guys a second to think, and I'm going to just give you guys a hint as well. It was the only foam runner that stuck out out of all the foam runners that they released when they decided to do this restock um, of the last releases of the push of the Yeezy. So that should let you guys know right there what it is. So if you know what it is and you guessed it, comment down below that you knew what it was. And just drop the name of the foam runner down there saying that you knew what it was or whatever, a star or something. Put something down there saying that you guessed it. You feel me? Let your boy know. But pop in the lid just like any of the other foam runners. You got the foam right there. And then you have the runner right here. And you guys can already see a little bit of it. This is the MX Carbon. This is the only foam runner that... You know, honestly, man, I, I keep it a bug with you. When it came to Yeezy foam runners and stuff like that, I just always wanted to hit for retail. Um, I wanted to have them in my collection. I wanted to see what the comfort was like. I don't know why, but when I look at this, I just think of this as something that I would see a doctor or a nurse wearing, uh, you know what I'm saying? Or somebody in a hospital with some scrubs on, or that's really the vibe of these. But, you know, this was one that when I saw these, if you guys didn't know, I love Royal blue um and just seeing the mixture of the colors in this one right here the mx mixture of this i was just like dang man these shit's tough and i really like the fact that they had like the baby blue vibe in it and i was like yo i wanted to get my hands on them now these right here uh Easy dub. This was an easy dub for me. Um, I did decide to go with a size 12 with all of my foam runners that I own. I have the black pair. I have this pair and then I got like a sand color pair. I ain't even gonna hold you. It's like five, 10 of them that came out that look like that. So, you know, I can't even tell y'all off the top of my head which one it is. But to me and my eyes gives it a little bit more for the eyes to look at as far as the design, having the colors and stuff like that on there, the brown, the tan, the black, you know, you get hit with the baby blue. And if you did not hit for retail and you want a pair of these i am a true size 11 i went up to a size 12 in these i would definitely suggest doing that because i believe these only do because these come in whole size so you know if you 11 and a half you might want to go 12 you might want to go 13 depending on if you more so lean towards if you were a size 12 it is so i'm a size 11 i went with a size 12 in these just because of the fact of how these run and fit and um they fit very comfortably to me uh, this is my third pair, as I said, of the foam runners, and this is my favorite colorway that they've ever released in the foam runners. So, you know, I'm super happy to be able to finish off with the Adidas restocks and everything. This last push, this was one that I really wanted to get, but y'all let me know y'all saw some opinions on these bad boys. Do you guys feel like, you know, this really is the end, you know, or do you guys think that this is the end of this wave? 
And when, let me explain that. You know, some tells me that it's a possibility things could patch up with Adidas and Kanye and they revamp the Yeezy in a different way, a different marketing strategy, just a whole new way of getting no more 350 V2s, you know, everything else being some new types. That's just something that I think about. And, uh, you know, cause I'm gonna be honest, when it comes to what I've seen so far from Kanye, as far as what he's been doing on his own, you know, I love the creativity and everything like that that he has as far as when it comes to clothing, when it comes to the designs that he had with Adidas, what we saw with Nike as well. Uh, but I'm gonna keep it real with you, them, uh, them uh them posits them the little sock posit joints the i can't even remember what they call man right now twenty dollars even two hundred dollars two hundred dollars too much twenty dollars i was just like all right you know what i'm saying i still didn't jump on the wave uh but you know i think the concept is dope but i just always thought that you know I wouldn't see this happen. I saw something with the, the way that Adidas and Kanye were working together. You know, I, I wish that they could patch things up and they could continue giving us stuff and just re give us something new, you know, dropping something with new type of materials, new type of quality to it. You know, maybe Adidas launched something different than actually having the boost in it and stuff like that. Like, I'd love to see something new, uh, but we probably won't see that, you know? So um, what's next for Kanye? Uh, what's next? for adidas because i feel like this is really what was keeping adidas alive bad bunny shoes they are right they not as hype as what they were you know and, and when it comes to those you know it's been a couple really really dope colorways i feel like you know you got the sean witherspoon joints that have dropped with adidas and you know those are just kind of mediocre compared to what we saw him with when he dropped the nike joints. so you know it is what it is man we'll see what adidas has to do i definitely would say that i feel like james harden does have a dope sneaker i feel like also when we think about Anthony Edwards you know Ant-Man got a fire sneaker but we're talking uh that's not in the same realm I feel like that's more like basketball type this is more like a casual styling but we'll see what it is I definitely got to get my hands on a pair of the Ant-Mans man I definitely want to I ain't gonna lie I want to get my hands on a pair of those so I will I will get a pair of those I'm not I don't even know why I'm saying I want to I am gonna get a pair but we're gonna go ahead and throw these on feet y'all let me know what y'all's thoughts and opinions on these are how do you guys feel what's next for Adidas what's next for Kanye you know as everything gets wrapped up from what I've seen there are still sneakers sitting on there so I'm guessing I don't know how long Adidas gonna leave them up there, but I wouldn't be surprised y'all if this isn't the end. And what happens is Adidas pulls everything off and then Adidas is like, all right, this is the last push. And then they just keep pushing the remainder and remainder of whatever's left over that's still on there. Uh, so we'll see, man. These were manufactured in 722, you know what I'm saying? So these do have the date of 722, a two year old sneaker. So. You know, it is what it is, man. But it's your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid. Until the next video, I appreciate all the love and support. I'm going to throw these bad boys on feet for y'all to end off the video. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Y'all already know the vibes, man. Enjoy the bang about our broski Nemo bands, and we out this thing. Yeah! I've been running around from all the shit that I've been used to. It ain't been the same as all the shit that I've been through. Got me feeling awake, show love ain't what it used to. Hope you're feeling change, cause I really don't want to lose you. Take my word, if I keep it a secret, I ain't gonna lose you. Take my word, if you tell me a secret, I ain't gonna use you. But you the one that's entertain all that nonsense. Look you and I, just so you know I'm being honest. All your friends telling you rumors need to stop it. Now that shit they gotta say is in a the coffin. They say love is like a drug, this shit too toxic. Remember nights you slept beside me on the carpet. Even had you put it in your purse before we walked in. Call you when I'm drunk, girl, I used to know that. Hold on. Real demon girl, I can't fuck you to no slow songs I know real shooters that turn that boy into a ghost form Really get you far in this city, you say you know us My niggas know if the police grab them, they don't know none The money come first out of trap and I said I show up Legs like the dogs in the land with the way they go up I need me a ride or die, I promise I ain't gon' slow up Brawin' something fast, we in the light, we doin' We too toxic, she wanna get married, get put in a ring I told her sign up for box, cause I said hell no We done been through too much for me to just let go And I ain't no trick, but I done fell for a good hoe And don't ask me what I'm sipping on, just come get you some. They probably live about 50 on, come and hit you on. Take you shopping with you once, look a bitch. That's on my son, she gon' fuck in the belly. This shit ain't dizzy, yeah, we more than just friendly. Give a F how they feel, that's a Fendi. I try challenge, I try challenge.
I try to tell him, girl, I try to tell him. I try to tell him, girl, I try to tell him. Nah, we don't share clothes. We don't share posts. Nah, we don't share jewelry. Only thing we share is hoes. Before I fall in love, I'ma have to let her go. Get my money on the mind and I can't fuck up my goals. Oh. I ain't with the gangs, nigga.